Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So now I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the newly released High School DXD Ries Gremory 1 6 scale premium figure from Orc. Okay, so we'll get straight on to the review. First, I'll just say that I bought my figure from JList.com, which is a really awesome Japanese website, which sort of has the latest uh, anime figures, plushes, nendroids, anime books, just to name a few things. They do worldwide shipping too. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check that site out, because they really are pretty awesome. So we'll do a quick once over of the box first before we uh, get her out. As I've already said, this is of uh, a figure of Rias Gremory, which is one of the main characters from the anime High School DxD. Now this figure is more so based off of uh, Season 2. I say that as you've got the new logo there, which is under the High School DxD, which is present on uh, Season 2. I actually pick the camera up as this box is pretty big, as it is a 1 6 scale. So we've got here at the bottom, uh, version premium, you've got 1.6 scale, PVC, I'm assuming that's the sculptor's name there, uh, Orca Toys, Call and Beauty Daughter Collection, the pedestal of abs is attached. Not much top there, you've got some text there. Okay, I'll just put the camera down so we can have a look at the other sides of the box. So we've got nothing on that side, and on the back it is pretty much, well it is exactly the same thing that's on the front. You get a good uh, image, uh, photo image of what the actual figure looks like inside. On this side you've just got some uh, text and a barcode and the Orca Toys logo. Uh, on the top there is just some text, which is exactly the same thing that's on the sides of the box okay so let's get this figure out of the box okay so we'll start with opening the tab at the top uh, you've got an A4 sheet of instructions here of how to set the figure up just pop that down We'll just pop the box to the side for the moment and we can get a good better image of what the actual figure looks like it's actually quite a big figure the pace is actually quite surprised me of how big that is wow so yeah we just got to get these sellotape parts off and we should be able to get her out okay to speed the video up i've already removed the sellotape parts as i'm sure you don't really want to see me doing that that part off, reveal in the base, we'll just pop that down and we should be able to get Rias out of there. Hopefully. There's no other parts in there. Just pop these plastic bits over there for the moment. And here we go, revealing the figure itself. So let's get these other plastic parts of her and get her fixed on her base. Okay guys, and here we have Rias fully set up on her base. Now I won't lie, this was an absolute pain to get set up. Uh, mostly due to the fact that um, when you get her out of the case, she's got all plastic all sort of covered her body, which is on there for obviously to protect it, but um, you have to basically take the figure to pieces to get the plastic off. And it was quite a palaver. Uh, she comes off in pieces, uh, this leg comes off, this leg does not, it's pretty much the only part of the her body that does not come off both of her arms come off and her head also comes off which you do all you do need to remove to get the, uh, the plastic uh, sheet covering it and uh, the arms and leg were fine but the head was an absolute pain to get off it was so uh, stuck on there it sort of felt like I was trying to be so careful that I didn't want to break it actually resorted to me actually getting um, a glove to uh, get a better grip so I didn't want to uh, risk uh, damaging her but yeah, now that she's all set up, she looks uh, really good. So we'll move in for a little closer look. So we can show you guys the quality that you're getting here on this figure. So 
So yeah, really fantastic job on the paint job here. The skin tone looks absolutely uh, incredible, really accurate. And of course the uh, the purple lingerie looks uh, really cool too. But of course I think the standout feature of this figure is uh, definitely Rias's hair. Looks absolutely incredible. Deep vibrant uh, sort of crimson red with a really uh, excellent shading on it. I'm moving for a closer look of her face, as close as I can, without the camera blurring. So you got that really cool Rias's face there. Really nice blue eyes. Over to her back, you get a really good better look at her red hair there, which goes down pretty much her entire body. And her feet, which looks really cool as well. You've even got the details of the toes there at the uh, ends of her feet, which looks really nice. Having a look at the base that she's on, nothing too special about the base, it is basically just a great big circled board, uh, it's plastic, uh, on the underside of it you've got some Japanese text, 2013 with a uh, high school DXD. A uh, thing I do like about it though is that um, there's no like insertions on it, you don't necessarily have to have Rias on the base, she will stand perfectly fine without it, as you can see just there. So the base is quite big, so essentially if you don't want to have her on the base, um, you don't have to, basically. And then she with the base. I've got to admit, I do think I prefer on the base. The big white base sort of makes her sort of stand out. Sort of a bit like a centerpiece, maybe in your anime collection that um, people's eyes are going to sort of draw, draw straight to, draw some attention. So yeah, overall, really uh, nicely sculpted figure. I'm pretty sure I've uh, showed you everything that I can with it. I haven't. Here's a better look at her side. And uh, show you some of the detail that's uh, under her hair there. You can obviously see the, uh, the bra strap. Now this is a cast off figure which I didn't actually know until I got her out of the box. I thought it was actually just a standalone figure. But yeah, both her bra and bottoms do completely remove. So you can have her displayed uh, completely naked if you wish, um, with the exception of her socks. Now I'm not going to remove those parts on this video. But for those of you out there who uh, want to see what this figure looks like with uh, those parts removed, I'm sure you can find those images on Google. But yeah, um, I'd really recommend this figure if you're a fan of uh, High School DxD and especially uh, Rias Grimmery. Uh, I'm hoping there's some uh, future uh, DxD figures released of other characters from the show. Because the majority of the ones out there are of uh, Rias Grimmery and I know she's obviously the main uh, girl character from the show. I believe there is uh, one Konako and uh, there's a couple Akano ones out there. But um, maybe some of the other characters I'd like to see would be pretty cool. So yeah guys, uh, let me know what you think about this figure in the comments below, always like reading your comments. I really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to me. And, uh